Hey guys, welcome to this screencast today. I want us to talk about randomized control trials and how we will specifically look at uh, parallel groups and crossover designs. So uh, talking about parallel groups, uh, we might have uh, two parallel groups or even more groups. And this is basically a trial with a head to head comparison of uh, two or uh, more treatments. So in this study design, subjects are located at a random to a single treatment or a single treatment program for the duration of the trial. And uh, usually the aim of uh, this study is to allocate equal numbers to each trial, although an equal location at times is uh, very possible. But one thing you have to note under the parallel group uh, design is that the groups are independent of each other and uh, when uh, independence is lost then uh, it becomes another study design but uh, for parallel groups the groups have to be independent so for crossover trials um, it usually involves a single uh, um, uh, group uh, where each patient receives uh, two or more treatments in turn. So each patient therefore acts as their own control and comparisons of uh, treatments are made within the patients. So the two or more treatments are given to each patient in turn and um, it has to be randomized. So crossover trials are very useful for uh, chronic conditions such as pain relief uh, in long-term illness or the control of high blood pressure where the outcome can be assessed uh, relatively quickly. So they may not be feasible for treatments for short-term illness or acute conditions that are once treated are cured for. For example, maybe antibiotics for infections. So it is important to avoid uh, something commonly referred to as the carryover effect of one treatment into the period in which the next treatment is allocated. So this is usually achieved by having a gap. And uh, this gap um, in medical statistics, it is referred to as the washout period between treatments. And uh, the aim is to prevent there being any carryover effects for the first treatment when the next uh, treatment starts. So the simplest design is a true treatment uh, comparison in which each patient receives each of the two treatments in a random order with a washout period of uh, non-treatment in between the, the treatments. So there are some particular statistical issues that uh, may arise in crossover trials which are related to the washout period and uh, carryover effects. And... Uh, exactly how and whether to include patients who do not complete both periods. Uh, there is um, a statistician called Sen who gives a full discussion of the issues and uh, possible solutions uh, to it. And uh, we will go through it uh, in a, a future screencast. So I'd like us to quickly go through the advantages and disadvantages of both uh, parallel and crossover designs. So for the advantages, the, uh, the number one advantage of parallel groups is that the comparison of the treatments takes place concurrently and uh, they can also be used for any condition, especially an acute condition which is cured or self-limiting such as an infection. And there is also no problem of uh, carryover effects. Uh, the main disadvantage of uh, parallel group designs is the comparison is between patients and so usually needs a bigger sample size than the equivalent crossover uh, trial. Uh, for the crossover designs, uh, the treatments are compared within patients and so differences between patients are accounted for explicitly. And uh, the second one is uh, usually uh, the crossover designs needs uh, fewer subjects than the equivalent parallel group designs. And last but not least, it can be used to test treatments for chronic conditions. So for the disadvantages of uh, crossover designs, we have a couple. Uh, number one, it cannot be used for many acute illnesses. I explained that before. Uh, carryover effects uh, need to be controlled. 
and there is also a likelihood to take longer than the equivalent parallel designs and um, last but not least uh, statistical analysis is usually more complicated if uh, the subjects do not complete all the periods so next we'll be looking at uh, zillion randomized consent design so keep it here thank you